LP combines computer science, artificial intelligence, and computational interesting. The goal is to make computers understand and process natural languages. Here the language of consideration is English language. For that, we have to understand some of the basic grammatical constituents of English grammar. Let's have a recap of the grammars we have learned in our school days. While we are learning a new language, we start with learning alphabet, followed by learning words. And then we have to understand how a sentence can be framed by combining these words. Sentences are made up of words. And this grammar represents how we can put together this word. And this group of words is called phrase or constituent. Phrase structure means organization to form organization of words to form constituent. So we have to learn certain rules or grammatical rules of learning how words are combined to form phrases and from these phrases how sentences are formed. Let's have a look on parts of speech. The parts of speech are the categories of words. In English, there are commonly nine types of parts of speech. They are nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, conjunctions, interjections, pronouns, and determinants. Mostly this slide makes an example. Noun. Noun represents a person, place, or thing. Book, grandson, girl, school. College. Pronoun. Pronoun is used instead of a noun. I, you, we, he, she. Adjective. Adjective describes a noun. A beautiful girl. Girl is a noun and beautiful is an adjective that describes the girl. Well, describes an action or a speech. I am listening this class. Listen is the verb here. Adverb. Adverb describes a verb. He did this work intelligently. Intelligently, he did this work. Intelligently emphasizes the work he has done. He is talking very softly. Softly is the adverb here. Preposition. Preposition represents the spatial and temporal relationship between nouns and other words in the sentence. I sat on a bench. On represents the preposition. Conjunction. Conjunction combines words or sentences together. I like ice cream and strawberries. And is a conjunction here. Interjunction. Interjunction is used to express emotions. For example, wow, love, hurry, oh. Wow, you, are, you have done a wonderful task. That's some kind of expression. Determiners. Determiners are used to make nouns more specific. A girl. The boy hit on the ball. Those girls are doing the task very nicely. That means the girls are the nouns and those represent that particular girl. These are the some part, these are the part of speech in English language. You already know this till some examples of part of speech. She loves animals. She means pronoun. Love is a verb. Animal is noun. John works. John is noun. Work is verb. Tara speaks English well. Tara is a noun. Speaks verb. English noun. Well, adverb. Tara speaks good English. This good emphasizes this process. Good is an adjective here. She ran to the station quickly. She pronoun. Run verb, to preposition, the determiner, station noun, and quickly adverb. She likes big snakes, but I hate them. She pronoun, likes verb, big adjective, snakes noun, but is a conjunction. I is the pronoun, hate verb, and the pronouns. Now, let's have a look at auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verbs or helping verb is used to, used along with main verb to express main verb's tense, mood, or voice. The main auxiliary verbs are be, have, to. Various, these are the various variants of be. Am, um, is, are, is present, was, where, this past, how, has, how, had, 
having two digits. This is all you know. This is an auxiliary verb. She is reading a magazine. Is is an auxiliary verb. We were playing cricket. Do you want a cup? Coffee. Model verbs. Model verbs are also auxiliary verbs that include can, could, shall, should, will, would, may, might, or do. These are some model. These are the model verbs. Can you speak signs? You must act promptly. Determiners specifies the noun terms. These are the determiners in English articles, possessive, demonstrative, numerals, ordinals, quantifiers. Let's have some examples. A man came to the shop. A is an article. The dog chased the rabbit. The is an article. Manu found his book in the car. The is an article and his is a possessiveness. Possession. This book is better than that one. This and then this is used for demonstrating. The two boys grew up together. That represents numerals. And she ran in the third position. That represents the ordinal. Two people. That represents the quantifier. So these are the these are the ways we can specify noun terms. So collectively, these are known as determiners. Noun chain is a sequence of words surrounding at least one noun. This noun space contains a noun term and a set of modifiers. This modifiers can be pre-modifiers or post-modifiers. Some examples. He is watching movie. He is a noun chain. The boys are playing. The boys constitute the noun chain. The is a pre-modifier. Another examples are those houses are very expensive. Those houses constitute the noun chain. So the noun chain can be the pre-modifier those here. Some post-modifiers are the boy in the blue shirt. The boy in the blue shirt emphasizes the noun boy. Now we have to train some rules or tradition to form noun chain. He sleeps. Here he is a noun chain. So noun phrase MP can be a pronoun. NP gives pronoun. John sleeps. NP can be a proper name. A student sleeps. So this noun phrase constitutes determinant and noun. So noun phrase can be determinant noun. This DET determinant can be article article. This noun can be here a tall student. A means determiner. Tall means adjective. Student. This all together constitute noun chain. So, starting with a determiner. So, NP is determiner noun. But this noun can have, this noun can be either a noun. That means noun gives noun. N, N stands for noun. Or this noun can be adjective noun. Adjective noun. The student in the back. The is a determiner. Student is a noun. In is a preposition. The back is again a noun phrase. So this noun phrase can be noun phrase and pp. Pp means prepositional phrase. So to make this sentence. So to So to make this sentence, what we can take here, we can take NP followed by NP PP. For the student, that means again this NP is made as DET. Noun. Now, this DET determinant can be the. And this noun can be student. And this PP can be, PP can be in the back. So, PP can be a preposition 
followed by noun phrase. So this can be a P in P. This P can be in. We can continue. Again this NB can be the back. For making the back, we require determinant noun. These are some rules for forming noun phrases. First phrase contains of a main verb along with some modifiers. He eats. Eats is a word phrase here. Word phrase can be a verb. He eats noodles. So word phrase can be verb followed by a noun phrase. He eats noodles with chopsticks. So this all term in the bracket constitute the word phrase. Here the main word is eat. Word phrase can be verb noodles that is NP with chopsticks that means PP. She eats at top. Eat is the main verb here. So this one is a word phrase. So VP can be VP at top. That is P. Now let's understand what are the various sentence types. No need to worry about these kind of classifications and all. Let's understand an overview of sentence. So sentence can be declarative, interrogative, exclamatory, and imperative. Declarative means some statement. Interrogative means a question, either an S or no question or a WH question. Exclamatory, some exclamation. Imperative, imperative means some order or request. Here, so sentence can be, my sister is in first grade. I am watching a movie. I have a blue dress. I am listening this class. These are some declarative sentences. So the common format is some noun phrase followed by some word phrase. This I is a noun phrase. I'm watching is a movie. It's a word phrase. So, sentence can be NP, VP. Interrogative. Which flights depart Frankfurt? So, interrogative can be WH. WH questions means what, what is this? How old are you? Where are you now? This WH question. This can be WH question followed by flights depart Frankfurt. So the common format is NP, VP. So another yes or no questions subtype, can you draw me your pen? So this can is an auxiliary. So sentence can be auxiliary, NP, VP. And imperative sentences are some order, command or request. Clean the room. So this one is a verb phrase. Here the main word is clean. So this one is a word phrase. So in particularly, sentence can be NP, VP. Sentence can be of NP, VP. And sentence can be VP. Now we have to define a contextual grammar or phrase structure grammar for English language. The previous discussion, we have seen a sentence can be of NP, VP or of NP, VP or VP. And we have seen some such a format of noun phrases. Noun phrase can be pronoun or noun phrase can be proper name and so and so. And we have seen some examples of prepositional phrase. Prepositional phrases can be C and D. Word phrase can be a verb or verb phrase can be a V and D and verb phrase can be V TP. These are some set of production rules to make a set of statements in English language. If you need to construct all the possible sentences in English language, we have to find more and more number of productions. Now, as we know, a contextual grammar contains a four tuple variable, terminals, Prediction rules and start sentence. Here, this variables S, NP, VP, noun, PP, etc. are the variables. 
and what are the terminals here terminals are the words that is lexicons in the given domain i sat on a bench i sat on bench these constitute the terminals or lexicons in the domain now we can see some examples to understand how this production rules or contextual grammar can be used to form the sentence structure kiran runs here kiran is a noun phrase and run is a verb phrase so sentence can be np bp np can be a proper name that can be kiran bp can be a verb that can be run here the lexicons are the terminals that we are using in the particular domain so the lexicons are kiran and run they tell a story s gives np bp this np can be pronoun that can be say bp can be gnp b can be told again this a story is a noun phrase that can be determinant noun determiner can be article a noun can be simply a noun that is story so what are the lexicons here they told a story these are the lexicons he runs around the park so sentence can be np bp this np can be pronoun she vp can be runs around the park so vp can be b pp this pp can be around the park that is p np p can be around np can be the park determiner noun determiner can be the noun can be n n can be park shall we play is an interrogative question expect either yes or no so the format of sentence is of np bp of can be shall np can be pronoun b bp can be verb play consider this statement open the door that's an imperative statement of sentence is a format bp bp can be v np b can be open np can be determiner noun determiner can be the noun can be n door this heading transition network definition of a simple english grammar don't need to worry much you have to construct the finite automata for each variable sentence can be from the initial state if we get noun phrase and a verb phrase you can go to finite state so noun phrase from the initial state if you get determiner noun that is final if you get a pronoun that could say you got a noun phrase if it's a proper name you got a noun phrase verb phrase verb phrase is like verb noun phrase b n p or verb De determiner can be article a the and my this those that you can construct like that here for simplicity i have taken only a and the verb can be in our context this if these are the lexicons if we get these both it, it will constitute verb noun can be man though like that you can construct transition network you have to consider the knowledge of finite order